Hello, I'm Dr. Tsui, the acupuncturist and the herbalist, of course the artist. So today I'm going to create a new art, new arts medicine. Uh, of course I still try to blindfold it to get more yin. And uh, today I'm going to talk about uh, create art. And uh, actually create art really be an artist so you really have to have a lot of freedom so the reason is because of the creativity so made from uh, the no restriction uh, you have to have your own root and that's how you make art unfortunately a lot of artists itself they don't understand that so they have to make they make their own roots, or they go to college. The professor tell them this is the only way to do it, or then they hear somebody, the master, what they're doing, and they copy that. So that's not really art. That's just a study. That's just more like a, be a painter and try to copy some master's work. So with the learning process, you can if you enjoy so much and the certain style. You can copy it, but uh, if you really want to, the last one when you want to be your own yourself, then you really have to have your own roots. That's where the most enjoyment from. So that's why actually it's the condition when I come to U.S. actually they have a lot more freedom in China. And uh, so that's why it's just a good place to create art in the U.S. But because uh, they still have a lot of uh, restriction and the controlling rules related with the government or uh, museum or galleries, they have a group of people they pretty powerful, they control a lot of things. So they're, I think they do have uh, uh, a lot of restriction for the art. And uh, so people start getting used to all those uh, old yen art, you know. So some they only try to copy and uh, because they're all influenced by money. Even now, a lot of museums are influenced by the money in the museum or gallery. So you hear about it. doesn't matter how good your art is because the gallery cannot make money. So they're not going to take you. So you hear about that. That's understandable. So, if you want to be an art, artist, good artist, doesn't matter they take you or not. You may have to cut your ear to get attention, but even that, you still don't sell a paintings, like a Van Gogh or anything. But that's the life you have to live on. So, today I have uh, some other stuff here. Believe it or not, this one, because uh, last time I used it, I forget to cover the cover for this uh, paint, black paint. So this one, one way is I expect it, the other way is I don't. I don't know exactly how they're going to look and how they come out and uh, how much enjoyment I have here. And as you know, black is very, very good for the kidney. So I hope you understand that. So I think I have enough black color here. So today I think I did enough for that. And I still need to draw some. And uh, make sure we have some energy in there. And I love it. So I have some energy, go through it. Okay. 
Okay. I think I have enough for today. Okay, believe it or not. Let me see what they look like. So, how much I can enjoy. So, let me open them up. Okay. Oh, that's a pretty cool. I kind of love it. Believe, believe it or not. That is very interesting. Uh, that's what I talk about. The black colors is very good for the kidney. And of course, I draw, they have the energy, you have a line, have the blue color, have some purple there. And of course, this one stuck in there. See, that's what we talk about, unexpected things. So for me, this is uh, enjoyable. And uh, also, expected things, you know, sometimes is very stressful. So, you know, because you know what's going to happen, you thought that you're not very stressful, but they do. Because a lot of time, you don't get exactly what you want. So you, uh, you stress, you include painting. So that's why I find the blind folder to create art. So complete, have freedom. So you, traditional way is they are open the eyes and the paint and uh, use some mind and uh, from the eyes to the mind. So for me, complete take away the parts of the eye part. Just uh, you paint from your mind to your spirit. So whatever the painting come out, so use as a medicine. So a lot of time you don't know how powerful the painting is. Paintings can use as medicine. So that's a, of course, it's not that you say, that, hey, you use as medicine, you're going to operate on the patients on the table. No, that's a different. So use as medicine, to a lot of things like meditation, exercise, and eat the right food, good diets, you know, do some acupuncture and uh, you know traveling and do the good things you know that's just, uh, still like medicine you know heal yourself so that's why future of med medicines is not uh, necessary in the last minute to take out your tumor or cancer and uh, to give you uh, you know strong medication to take a piece of bone from your legs or anything like that. So that's also one of the medicine, but the medicine, they have so many different ways. So art can use as medicine. So when you hang in your home, you enjoy a lot. And because the color, sometimes they match with you. So you get a lot of benefits. So if you don't like the painting so much, so that's because they're not a match with you. So, right, so that's very important. Thank you for watching. I really appreciate it.